Police Department. Oh, I need that. I Good evening and welcome to Macon's Minute. I'm your host, Tony Anthony Macon, aka The Hood Fuel Perkins, here to enlighten and somewhat entertain. <laughs> Salute to Johnny Mason for giving me that silly ass name, The Hood Fuel Perkins. <laughs> Fucking hilarious. Tonight's subject, Becky 911. Tonight is going to be more of an informational. I'm lying. You know I got a joke. What am I talking about? Like I said, somewhat enlighten and entertain. Um, <laughs> tonight, I want to discuss a few things that has happened lately as far as white people calling the cops on black people for no fucking reason. I guess for just being black. We got to talk about it. It's too much of this shit has been happening. It's been all over the place. There's so many inst instances of this happening in the last shit year starting back with the uh I mean it's always been happening. Let's let's let me slow that shit down right now. It's always been happening. Shout out to Cap, Nike in the building. But uh, it's always been happening. But we want to talk about just how it's going viral right now. Uh, the viralness, viralness, if that's a uh, word. Started with uh, the Barbecue Becky, uh, or what was she called? I can't remember. First off, I hate the cute little names that they get. I hate it. Those names shouldn't... They, they get all these, like, like uh, uh, Hallway Hillary. And uh, what was the... You got Golf Cart Gale that just recently. But they get all these crazy little nicknames... Because, and, and I, I just said the title of the video is Becky911. But <laughs> they get all these little nicknames. And what we need to really do is start focusing on calling them out by their real names. But neither here nor there. It started with the lady who was, uh, who called the cops on a, a gentleman who was just grilling. He was, uh, in a park. They were. There were people having fun, grilling food, what people do at parks. And she came by and asked if he had a permit. Sucker shit. But that's where it started. And after that, you had uh, you had the black girl that was young black girl that was selling water outside of her building. You had a woman come call the cops on her. Um, she was just trying to sell water to go to Disneyland. You had a whole just snowball effect where we where people were getting on their shit and putting these people on camera to show them how foolish they look um giving them their 15 minutes of fame but recently just uh, a few days ago there was a white woman by the name of Hillary Mueller, who called the cops on a gentleman. Oh, wait, 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 let me let me let me slow it. Let me slow it. Let me let me pull it back. Before she even called the cops. She tried to deny 
this black man, Darion Tolls, from entering his apartment. He was at his apartment building trying to get in. And she was blocking the door, her and her little dog. And was acting like the fucking uh, door detective. She was asking asking him for his, his, his key file. Uh... As if he didn't just use it to open the door. Open the door. She was blocking the door. Uh, she wanted to know what 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 apartment number he stayed in. She didn't want to let him pass, so he had to kind of, in a sense, move around her, in which she followed him to the elevator. She followed him up the elevator to his apartment door he opens his door with his key and she still called the cops because she said she felt uncomfortable with him in the building sucker shit she said she felt uncomfortable with him in the building she was comfortable enough to jump on the elevator with him and follow him to his apartment. She was very comfortable enough with that. Acting as if uh, she was the cops or some shit. Like she owned, actually she was acting like she owned a building. She said, my building. I don't want to let you in my building. That sense of entitlement came out of nowhere. And it was a sad state of affairs to see that at this day and age, goofy shit like that is still going on. When I first saw the video, I read through the comments. And it was one of the things that I saw that it, like, it, was, it, was, it was one comment that kind of stuck out. And I was kind of proud of this young man for, for not falling into the goofy trap. A lot of people were saying uh, she just wanted the D. Because after a while, you know, she started to ask where he was going, who he was seeing. I want to I wanna know who you are. I want to get to know you. And what's your name? And we're neighbors. Let's, and, you know, that old silly shit. She was drunk as hell. So, you know, it, it went from her... And her entitlement and talking shit to where she realized he actually did live there. You can see it in her face. She knew it at that point. I mean, you followed the motherfucker all around. But but she kind of did look a little flirty for a second. Like she was trying to get at him. And like he didn't go for none of that goofy shit. No, we can't be friends. No, I'm not hypnotized by your little blonde hair. Um, like I said, a lot of people was yelling those in the comments. Uh, just give her the D and all that stuff. It's not always about that. I'm wrong. She was straight for the stroke. But when you see somebody, they become very unattractive. When they're acting the way they were. She was. And. I was glad to see. That he didn't give in to that dumb shit. He didn't act act friendly. None of that shit. He just wanted to get in this spot. Like get the fuck away from me. Now the crazy thing is though. Um. Uh, they did interview him. They spoke with him about this video because it went viral. And when they spoke with him, he did have that old, well, you know, I don't want anything to happen to, you know, I, don't, I want people to just kind of leave her alone. Let that woman be in peace. I don't care to have this go any further, press charges. And that's, I guess, 
that was where I disagreed with him. Because somebody got to be made an example of. You know? It, it, because, like, the cops show up on this goofy shit where they show up and they appease. They appease these people that are, are, are making these phone calls. They, 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 they show up for a call that's a bullshit call in the first place. And then now they want to see ID and proof. Like it was, it was a video where I saw uh, a woman. She was at at the she was at a pool at an apartment complex, and it was a guy, white guy, black woman, white guy. He comes up and he t he calls the cops because he feels like she needs to show her ID that she lives there. But no one asks for his fucking ID. But the cop asked for her ID and also made her use her key file to show that she lived there. And this motherfucker, the, the guy waited around, the white guy waited around to make it sure that it was okay for her to be swimming at the pool. The fucking pool police. Let me take a look. I got I to gotta sip some. I have to sip some of this tequila to slow myself down. I'm a little turned up now because I'm, I'm starting to get fired up. That shit, like every time I go over these stories, it kind of just like really gets me upset because I've been in similar situations when I was younger and at the time really didn't realize what was going on. Like me, I bark on people and I keep it moving. Like if I live in a, a certain place or if I'm supposed to be at a certain place, you're not going to tell me to show some ID. You're not going to tell me this, that, and the third. And I'm also not going to wait for the cops to come around either. Um, <laughs> just because I know my, my, my temper and my, my temperature is going to rise. And the situation is just going to go left. Uh, I'm liable to slap a person first before the cops can get there. But Hallway Hillary, Hillary Mueller, uh, she was fired from her job. Throw that business. They said they don't tolerate that, man. They don't, they, it's, you know, you see blatant racism, and that's not something they tolerate. So they got rid of her. And what we need to happen is. There's another situation um, in, in New York. Uh, Corner Store Carolyn is what they're calling this woman. Her real name is Teresa Klein. She was at a corner store. And she accused a black child, a little black boy, of groping her. I think the kid was about eight years old, if I'm not mistaken, eight or nine years old. And she called the cops because she wanted that situation to escalate. See, I mean, like, see, a lot of people don't really understand. And that goes, this kind of goes to black people, too. Uh, when you call the cops, you've already made this decision that you want to see someone get harmed. Uh, not to veer too far away from this Teresa Klein incident, but it was just a, it was an incident that happened in, um, man, uh, Norfolk, Virginia. It was a, uh, a man, uh, uh, African man, West, I think he was, um, he was uh, West African. Uh, I'm not, don't get, I don't want to mistake it, but he was an African male uh uh he he moved here to america or and his girlfriend black girlfriend called the cops on him and he had a he had a a mental uh a mental disease so when the cops showed up they're not aware of that 
and they show up an altercation happens where you know one she called the cops for some bullshit she just called the cops just because he he didn't want to be around her uh it escalated to a, a a bigger situation in which he got into a scuffle with the cops the cops took him in and the cops beat him and tased him until he died in custody they had him uh tied to a chair cuffed to a chair and they beat him and tased him and he died those cops got fired and one cop the one who who tased him who, 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 who the reason why he died because his heart stopped from the tasing he got one month in jail and three years probation So when you call the cops, make sure you're calling the cops for a real reason. I digress. Um, back to Teresa Klein. Teresa Klein called the cops on this little young boy. Cops show up, turns to a scary situation. You know, the kid's crying and whatnot. But there was video surveillance that showed that the kid walked past her and didn't, didn't touch her. He didn't grope her. People in the neighborhood said they have this woman has called the cops on people countless of times. Black people countless of times. She has a, she's an habitual cop caller. Looking to fuck with people. This episode is all about watching out. And also, it's about let's be proactive. Let's press these charges. They're trying to they're trying to uh uh Tariq Nasheed was talking about it. Uh and other people in and uh in New York now are, are speaking on it because they want the DA office to press charges against her. She should. They sh they should. False claim. Charges should be pressed against her. You had <laughs> shit. Uh, in New York, uh, you also had the uh, the uh, what was it, Robert Ortiz, the uh, gay lift passenger, who went off on a black man, uh, who was who was uh, their lift driver. Lift driver picked up uh, three males. Uh, I'm pretty sure all of them were gay. Robert Ortiz, Ortiz was, was the ringleader, though. He was the one who was, uh, they got into the car, they asked for music, and the driver said, got nothing for you. They com they went right away into this whole, they, they felt like they were being discriminated because they were gay. Yet they were yelling at Lyft Driver. Called him nigga multiple times. Robert Ortiz is uh was a Dominican man. No, sir, you cannot say the word nigga. Uh especially because you identified yourself as a white Hispanic. Um also, you was on that Trump train. He, he talked about he was a Trump supporter. He called the cops though. He called the cops on the live driver. Who was doing nothing but recording the situation in which he also said on his car door it says you you will be recorded on this ride but he called the cops saying he was being illegally recorded another person who know if the cops show up they may fuck with this young black man Who's just trying to do his job? Nah, oh, man, they called him all types of things and they talk so much shit. Robert Ortiz got fired. Round of applause.
You had golf cart Gale just recently. Golf cart Gale. We don't know this woman's name yet. But she called a uh, she called the cops on a black man who was cheering for his uh, kids at a uh, soccer game. It was a call made by the ref. He was yelling to his kids from the stands. Um, I can't remember exactly what he said to the he, but he told you know the kids look like uh, like he was yelling to his kid not to worry about the call or whatever. Boom. But because he was loud, loudly cheering for his child, she tried to come check him. Who are you? Hmm? Soccer police in this motherfucker? Huh? But Cops show up and he has to talk to the cops and, and it's just unnecessary shit. She's a big wild old lady too. She set her big ass up on the golf cart. Uh, you could see like 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 I was looking at the golf cart and like I know when she got up that seat looked like it got stumped out by gangbangers. Because she was a heavy, heavy one. Oh, yeah. She was, uh, she was about a 6X. She was definitely about a 6X. But this shit gotta stop, man. Um, shit gotta stop. This has been another Makings Minute. Every time I always say I'm gonna get back on this shit and I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be uh, doing my thing and I'm gonna uh, do this shit like a lot. I'm gonna do it like you know so much. I be fucking up. I be fucking up, man. I be lazy. I'm gonna I'm try to. I'm. I just call. I gotta call it what it is. <laughs> I be lazy. Um. <laughs> shit. I didn't even finish this whole beer. Maybe that's what it is. I don't drink on the uh, weekdays like that. <laughs> now nah, I can do a show sober, so I'm just talking shit. But uh, a lot of news to be talked about, a lot of things to be said. And, you know, I'm just one man giving an opinion. Um, and I like to talk. Long stare. Yep. Uh, I am out of here. About to go jump on this. Uh, about to watch these uh, NBA games. Can't. I'm glad the NBA that. season is back. <laughs> Round of applause for the NBA season. I don't watch the NFL, so I need some sports in my life. College is cool. Can't wait to start watching Blue Beetle. Fuck it. They got the young man, uh, Zion Williamson. Beast. Can't wait to watch Duke basketball. But, um, yeah, got that. And the Mayans MC coming on tonight, too. I'm going to have some fun, man. I, I think I'm going to be up all night. I'm going to have to call off tomorrow. Um, may have to pour some more tequila in here. Salute to Plum Hollow for the glass. I'm sorry. I'll bring it back. I promise. Don't call the cops on me. <laughs> Speaking of weird, they had a hell of a... Anyway, let me not go into that. All right. Talking too much. I'm out. Peace.